What's going on YouTube? Graves in the here and welcome back for episode number 13. So I wanted to talk to you guys a couple of things. One, this is actually supposed to be episode number 17. However, I recorded 13 through 17, actually 16. This is supposed to be episode 16. Um, and uh, I actually, I, I watch all my episodes before I release them. And I wasn't, uh, I wasn't feeling them. It was, uh, it was a whole bunch of, of nothing going back and forth. And just kind of build, uh, trying to build the population and whatnot. So there wasn't really a whole lot of interesting content there to be watched. In all those episodes, believe it or not. So... I'm going to catch you up on what I did in those episodes. And then we're going to move forward with episode number 13. So let's start. Let's actually start over here on, on this side. So I went ahead and I zoned a little bit more high density European residential over here on this side. We added a couple of schools, a couple of parks, a fire station, some services and whatnot. And that is everything for that area. We did end up unlocking this tile right over here. So we do now have access to the train tracks. And I have them connected right over here. So we have the farming cargo train station connected through here. And it goes, it goes over the highway it goes down, it goes, there were tunnels through, uh, through this little hill, comes back up up here, goes out this way, and connects to the train tracks where it has an option to go either left and out that way, where this guy's going right now, or right and go out that way and deliver some goods to that side over there. So same thing over here with the forestry industry, cargo train station, which appears to be 10 times busier at all times than the, uh, the farming one. So this train track goes from here, kind of along the edge of the map where we have it there across the highway. It's through here across another highway, kind of curves around just a little bit goes out this way, meets with this connection, and either goes left or right. Up here is another change that I did. I moved the biofuel bus depot over here and kind of did a little bit of a decoration. We do have a uh, taxi station over here now as well, or taxi depot. This is where our fire helicopter depot is, so that is, uh, that is new. We do have the medical helicopter depot right in there. And here we actually have another road maintenance depot. I thought it would look good in that area. We have the police helicopter depot there. And then we have the, uh, the deep space radar as well. So that is what that ended up looking like right there. I did a little bit of tree decoration there. Added a couple of water towers as we were running low. You'll notice our population is higher now. And then over here, I went ahead and I added a uh, office district over here. So you see some of these buildings are level five or three already. And the rest of them are going to get there and level up. We did add a bus route that goes alongside here as well. It does actually dip in through here too. So let's see, where's the stop the stops are? Right here, not quite the most popular stops, but that is fairly new. So most folks are still getting adjusted and getting into the area here. We did zone more green high density residential over here. And we mainly filled up the, uh, the park or not the park, the, um, the leisure district 
So all of these buildings alongside the road are leisure. And we do have a, uh, a unique building in the city as well. So this one is the theater, European theater. But with that said, we are sitting at 59,000 population. We have about 23,000 coming in weekly. We have 1.7 million in the bank. And believe it or not, a huge demand for jobs and a little bit for commercial. I'm still trying to work around the bug of a disappearing building. So like over here, I think it just finally stabilized a little bit because the demand got up to be so high to, to where I, I don't think they really had a choice. They had to stay. Over here, the leisure is actually doing uh, doing very well. I haven't noticed any of these buildings in these zoning, so we're gonna we're gonna keep zoning them a little bit more, and we can actually start with that. So actually, hopefully, you guys can uh, can forgive not being included in uh, in those episodes again. I think uh, I think it's for your best interest because the content at least to me was uh, was not quite as uh, as watchable i was i was tired i was rushing and uh the quality just just really wasn't uh, wasn't there so we'll we'll kind of go from here and move forward so we're going to come over here we're going to zone a little bit more of farming in hopes to get the uh, the job demand back uh, back down, we did go through a death wave as well, and that was actually going to be one of the episodes is in the death wave itself. But that has passed now, so we did encounter a major major death wave where we lost a bunch of uh, population there. Traffic for the most part is uh, is doing good currently. This is about the only route to get in and these two right here to get out alongside with uh, with this connection over here for farming. However, I'm not really experiencing a whole lot of traffic going in. Actually, you know what? I think those guys are turning around. They're not even going in into the, uh, the city in any case. Um, so what we do have to work on and what I want to uh, prioritize over here is building a connection from here into uh, into the highway to make it look a little bit nicer. Perhaps, maybe even rework these roads right here and go from there. So we're going to put the game back down to one speed. We're going to start working over here on this area. And I think that for here, we can actually run a road out to the highway, and we're going to make it a uh, a two-way highway. So the reason I'm placing it over here is because, here, let's go ahead and just do one block right there. So if you come to here, you have a separation of the two uh, the two farming areas, right? So you can uh, you can go left and get into this side over here, or you can go right and get into this side over here. So if we come out to say about there, actually, you know what? What we could do. Is curve this road because I wanna I wanna utilize this uh, this space over here for uh, for that. So we're gonna curve this road and we're gonna make it a nice curve. So we're gonna go two by two. And there we go. And that'll lead us a little off center. So then we're gonna see if we can make this work. Perfect. So we're gonna go about that height there we are going to go straight here and hope that it works no it won't okay redo
Where do we need to be? We need to be going about in that way there. And there we go. And here we can go straight. And there we go. Perfect. So we're going to go down over here, just like so. And then from here, we're going to connection coming through there and one going out. And then over here, we're going to do about the uh, the same thing. And we're going to make like that, uh, like that little uh, diamond connection, if you will. So we're going to break out our highway on ramps and off ramps. Actually, what happens if we just go straight from here? Will that work? That'll kind of work. So we'll do that one right there. And then we'll do something kind of similar over here on this side. And there we go. I think that should work for uh, for now. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say for, uh, for now. We're going to keep this as a permanent connection. And to finalize it, we're going to put in a little bit of trees and let's see do I want these trees yeah they look nice we're gonna put them right there so we'll do that I recently found that uh, that some of these rocks right here make a really good decoration piece by the highways so something like that maybe we can do that guy right in there complement it with what's small this one's kind of small There we go. Something, uh, something like that should uh, should work just a okay for us. Let's go back to this brush. We're gonna fill in a little bit more of the trees around there. Trees really do make a uh, big difference in this game. I don't know if you guys are a big fan or if you just don't use them. However you play, if you add some trees to your city, just really anywhere, not anywhere, don't put them in, those, in the industrial areas, but um, anywhere other than industrial areas, um, I think you guys will notify that your city just ends up getting a lot more character and, and looks a lot better. So there it is, that's our connection right in there. As I mentioned, you can go left or right to get into either side. There's, I think that should uh, that should work for us just uh, just fine. I will, for now, keep these two over here. Traffic over here is doing okay. You know, I'm almost thinking that that we might need two of these for for the amount of volume that we're that we're pushing out. It's just it's it's absolutely crazy. I'm thinking maybe we'll put one, I mean, I don't even know where, where we can put one. It's a nice view though. Got the mountains in the background. I'll give that a little bit, a little bit more thought because I mean, that that's, that's a tremendous amount of volume. And I think this is happening simply because we don't have any other need for forestry in uh, in the city aside from just exporting it we don't have any industrial factories or anything like that to where we can take them through the city and uh, make any kinds of uh, kinds of goods with them so I think that's exactly why uh, why that's happening there is just we're exporting pretty much 99% of, of the stuff that that we're making there farming on the other hand is a little bit different we do have the local produce and everything happening in the city so 
we're importing some or not importing we're, we're using some of these goods in our city uh, see I hate it when they do this they're using my junction to turn around and go back I think I can fix that I did it in my other let's play series what if I do one of these there you go, guy. Go, go, go. You got the trash people turning around, and hopefully it doesn't cause too much congestion right in there. It seems, uh, or it seemed, pretty, uh, pretty popular. So hopefully that'll avoid them coming in here and turning around. I don't think we need one here. These, all these folks are going out, uh, going out this way. And the other thing is, is I read on the um, the Steam forums for for the game that there's some sort of a bug with the uh, the trash. So you guys can see clearly that we have plenty of garbage processing uh, available, and we're not uh, we're still not picking everything up. So I have a garbage facility here. I have a garbage facility right here as well, and uh, we're just not getting to uh, getting to all the trash, and it kind of sucks. It really does. So combine that with uh, I added two more, by the way. Um, combine that with the disappearing buildings from uh, from commercial, and that's quite a lot to put your uh, to put your city through. So I'm really hoping that the new patch, when it comes out, we have all of that fixed. And we're back to enjoying the game to the full potential. But for now, we just have to play along and, and go with the flow, I guess. So this area over here, I was looking before. So all they want is uh, is a uh, higher educated citizens, and we're good on elementary. Uh, we are good on high school. We are. What about university? Ah, and there we go. We need more help on the university side. So instead of building an additional university, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place two more of these faculty buildings that'll get us into the green. So now we have about 2000 students that can attend uh, the university more. So there's something that I've been wanting to do ever since we started this city. So I think now is a good time to do it. I mentioned it in one of the episodes that's not released. And, uh, and that is to put a uh, centerpiece over here in the, uh, in the lake. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play around with a little bit of terraforming. We're going to come and uh, we're going to select, let's say, let's say that height right there I think that should be uh, that should be good uh, before I do that actually let's let's go ahead and see if we can put in a road we can from there uh, it's a little too close I kind of want it how much is this this is 7420 So I guess we can we can put the road right there, and I want to extend this road to about whereabouts is the center point. So center point is right about here. I want to have this road come to about there. I'm actually going to use a two lane road for now. So where were we? This is the center point ish right there. So we're going to stop our road right there. I'm gonna connect this back up for the time being. Yeah, I did not want it to make the uh, the little bridge pillars. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do that and then now I think if we upgrade, there we go. 
No more pillars. There's a little neat trick for you guys. If you did not know, now you know. So let's go back to our terraforming. We're going to start right here. This is going to cost some money, by the way. So I want to make like a, like a little island in a sense. So there we go. We don't have enough soil now, which is good because we can uh, simply take some soil from uh, from this side over here. Where are we at? There. I really don't think that we're going to need this much, but we shall see. We're just going to go in there with a uh, full loaded gun and see what happens. So we'll leave that uh, the way it is for now. Um, we'll come over here, we'll kind of do like a, like a circular blob looking shape, so something Something like that, maybe. I didn't do something like that. I'm going to put the game back on three speed. This is going to flood our city just a little bit. So I'll put it in a little bit of a time lapse and we will be back once the water has settled. <laughs> Okay, so we are back. And the water hasn't completely settled just yet, but that's okay. It will once we resume the simulation at some point, right? Um, so there's a couple of buildings that I wanted to have here. There is the Cathedral of Plenitude. I kind of wanted to have that sort of centered. And then I wanted to have the Modern Art Museum kind of like on one side of it. And the Theater of Wonders on the other side and maybe a couple of plazas and whatnot there as well. I don't want this to be quite a uh, symmetrical build in a sense. So we're going to draw a road right there for now. We're going to place our buildings. See this costs 130,000. So we'll put this one here. Or should we put it over here? Let's see, we'll put it right there. So we'll put the Cathedral of Plenitude in there. Let's go ahead and, and give it a road there. There we go. So that'll be there. And then kind of on the side, right about there. So not symmetrical, just kind of like a random straight road there. We can put the modern, nope, actually modern arts museum will have to go over here on this side. Um, we can put this guy and we'll have to do just a teeny, teeny bit more of terraforming there. It's a good thing that I brought extra straw soil, huh? All right, so we can put this guy kind of sort of like that and then for the modern arts museum we could put it here <coughs> however I almost want a road right there and then put it out uh, put it out this way so let's do just a tiny bit more of terraforming kind of like right about there ish and now let's see if it will fit and it will so something like that is exactly what I had in mind now we have to figure out how to connect 
the roads. Shouldn't be too bad. Because we can come in through there. Then we can go one way in. And we can go one way out. And you know what? I am going to go ahead and resume the simulation. It's not going to be a uh, time lapse this time. I just want all of the water to settle. And then I'll be back. Well, the water has completely settled, so we are good to go on that end. Um, now we have to connect uh, the pipes over here. So we can easily just run uh, run this pipe from there to there, and I think that should be plenty. We'll do that right there for now as well. Okay. So we are good to go on water for power. What I thought about doing is either placing one of uh, one of these guys over here, which I think would look nice kind of remotely on the island. Um, one of these guys in the water could look uh, could look okay. Or going low profile and putting in one of these guys right there, which is what I think uh, what I think we are gonna do. So that will provide power to these buildings over here. Now it's up to us to do some decorating and go from there. Now, since they are unique buildings, let's see what else that looks good and that we have available to us that we can place in here. For example, this guy, lungs of the, oh wow, that's huge. Will it fit? Uh, no, it won't fit there. A little bit of terraforming will make it fit though. So we'll do that right there. We'll pause the game uh, just so the water doesn't come back up. And let's see, lungs of the city. Perfect. Well, not quite as perfect. The, uh, the pollution on the island now is having a little bit of an effect on it, but that will go away. With uh, with time, so we'll we'll leave it there. I promise it's gonna look uh, it's gonna look a lot nicer later on in, in the future. Let's see what else we have that we can put in here. So we have the helicopter park. That's a a small building. We can put that guy in here somewhere. Well, it'd be kind of cool if it was the centerpiece for uh, for us coming in. We can put it there. That'll be okay. All right, I'm mainly looking for uh, for low profile buildings here or parks. Uh, boat museum would, would look pretty darn nice out here, right? Yeah, we can, we can put a boat museum there, why not? We'll run this road. out to there that should give us our road connection that uh, that we need so we will do that let's go back and see what else we can cram Ooh, where to go and there it is this guy would look really nice somewhere over here uh let's see let's see let's see think 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 we could put it somewhere right about right over here. Hmm. You know what? We'll uh, we'll wait on uh, we'll wait on that one. I think uh, I think this uh, the London Eye, I believe it's what it's uh, what it's called. I think this would fit a little bit better as an extension from one of these uh, one of the sides of the the leisure island here. Or that island, but district. So I think that would look a little bit better, maybe maybe somewhere over here, if we were just to extend the terrain out into the lake. So we'll pause that for now. What else? 
This is one of the ugliest buildings that I've ever seen. It looks, um, I'm not going to say it. I think you guys know what I, what I mean. Uh, Eiffel Tower, no, not really. It's way too big. Let's see, what do we have here? That's a zoo that's way too big. Oh, how about some of uh, some of these uh, statues and whatnot? Statue shopping, we already have. Plaza of the Dead. No, thank you. What is a Lazarus Plaza? That looks kind of cool. And it's fairly cheap. And it goes central. Perfect. We are going to take it. Actually. Will it fit on the other side? It will. It fits perfectly and it's centered and it almost looks like these folks over here are walking into the cathedral there. Pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll keep it. What else? This will, uh, this will also boost our tourism. So we have some, some attractions here now. Now people have a reason to come and visit our city so they can see some of these, uh, some of these nice looking buildings here. So that'll boost our tourism. And I mean, check it out already. Our budget is up to 27,000 and I didn't do anything but place some of these, uh, some of these buildings. Oh, by the way, I did upgrade this road. So that road is actually guys are wondering it is this road right here large avenue with the grass so when you upgrade it and you don't have uh, the trees and grass in the middle it actually provides this neat looking bridge thingy right there so I thought that was uh, that was pretty cool and I think what it's missing is a little bit of a um, a little bit of trees and we're going to do some lower profile trees over here and let's see which ones are going to look good how about some colorful trees let's take a look those are they're polluted now let's take a look at them somewhere where it's not polluted so we have the purple ones we have the pink ones we have more pink ones and some pink reddish ones as well so four different types of trees we're gonna use all of them we're gonna make it a super colorful island so we're gonna do some of these guys over here on on the side kind of like all around over here as well if they'll fit perfect do some of these guys as well actually some of these trees look better polluted if you ask me we'll do that which ones were these these were the pink ones we can do a pink center by the way not sure if I mentioned guys if you just simply push and hold so you have the single selected and you push and hold it actually gives you a nice a uh, nice stream of trees now just like that it's pretty cool nice and uh, nice and evenly spaced as uh, as well Or you can just do it the old-fashioned way and click the button a million times. There we go, something, uh, something like that. Let's let's do some of these ones over here. Now what's going to be really cool is when the pollution goes away. gonna fix this over here just real quick Let's... go to there perfect that'll uh, that'll work ah we can't go there okay no worries And 
and this episode, by the way, might be uh, quite lengthy. Hopefully you guys are okay with that since we missed a day, in a sense. Because my recording quality on the other pre-made videos, uh, or pre-recorded videos, was not up to par. So hopefully you guys can appreciate that too, by the way. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to release junk, in a sense. I'm. Not, it wasn't necessarily, like, total junk, if you will. Uh, but it just, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't up to par to what I like to release. And if I was getting bored watching my own stuff and I just didn't find it too interesting, um, I think you guys would have as well. So this way, this way we have better quality of videos and and you guys are happy and I'm happy and I can sleep and we're all good. All right, and then over here, let's see if we can put in a couple of plazas. So how about that guy there and that guy there? Those should look pretty nice there. And then more trees. Okay, so I'm thinking that's how that's going to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I think this looks pretty nice. I think we did very well. Again, apologies for my poor quality videos that you guys never saw. Um, hopefully these, uh, hopefully this episode was uh, was good enough to kind of make up for, uh, for that. And... Um, I'm going to leave you guys with a nail biter. This right here is uh, is going to restore itself to the unpolluted land that we have everywhere else and these trees are going to pop and everything. So, I'm not going to I'm not going to do a time lapse or anything of that sort just right now. So, I'll make you guys wait until the next episode so you guys can check this out uh, over here. This way you have to come back, right? In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, be the best that you can be in everything that you do. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.